What's up everybody? So the Volkswagen Atlas has been here at Stokes VW for about, I guess about a month now. And we've been selling these cars like hotcakes. I mean, this is a hot SUV right now. Um, we had, when the Atlas first hit ground and we did our launch party on it, there probably was eight of them on the lot sitting outside out there. And, uh, and then we probably had like four in the showroom here. Today, uh, being July 12th, we're down to two. That's right, two. Which we got more coming in on the truck that are allocated to us. But with that being said, it's a hot seller. So I wanted to revisit things a little bit and once again show you all the Atlas today here at Stokes Volkswagen. All right, so let's take a look at the Atlas because this is, again, it's a hot vehicle right now. I mean, it's really hot on the market. Our Volkswagen Tiguan that'll be here and within the next couple weeks pretty much looks like a smaller version of the Atlas. So that's going to make it a hot seller too. But one thing I can tell you, uh, the Volkswagen Atlas is the widest. SUV right now in the marketplace. I mean, it's got width. Look at it. Nice and wide. Let's move in a little bit. Let's take a look at our headlights. All LED headlighting, which is great. And uh, you're going to notice that on a lot of vehicles nowadays. But the Atlas is completely all LED from your high beams, your low beams, to the LED running lights during the daytime. And look at the grill and the massive size logo. Look at that. I mean, it's big. Is that big logo or what? It is. Look at that thing. Wow. And it looks good on the wall right in front of your house. Now let's take a look. You know, one thing that's cool about the Atlas is you can get it with cloth interior. You can get it with leather interior. You can get it with leather rent. Let's take a look at the wheels. You got a 245 60 series wheel with an 18 inch or 245 60 series tire, 18 inch wheel, continental tires, good looking rims, right? I mean, those look really sporty. Uh, you can't go wrong with five stars, and then Volkswagen has taken the five star and kind of given it a different look, which I like. Tiny little, uh, small little running flap there, or uh, mud flap, isn't it? Look at that. Very tiny. Doesn't move a lot. It's plastic, and it flows nicely with these fender flares going right around the car, just like that. Now, also, you got, I mean, LED lighting's all over the vehicle. Right in here, that's nice and bright when you're trying to get over during day or night. You got up top, you got your racks, you got your sunroof. Take a look at this. I mean, that sunroof rolls all the way back. And what's cool about that is even, you can get it with cloth interior, okay? There's not a lot of SUVs in the marketplace where you can get cloth interior and still get the panoramic glass sunroof. So that's pretty sweet. And a massive size screen inside the car. So big screen, big sunroof, and cloth interior. How about that? So it really is your preference on how you want it. This one's actually the V6 launch edition. Now it's a little tight over there, so we're gonna kind of roll around this direction. And look at the rear. Good looking in the back. You got those big exhaust pipes that kind of right up under there. Look at that. Pretty sweet. Now again, these are really just more for looks. Your exhaust tip is right there, as you can see. <laughs> we got a little got a little spider going on in there. But one thing in the back of the Atlas is it's very roomy. I mean, you got third row seats that come standard, but then you fold them down nice and flat. Got a ton of rear cargo space in the back of the Atlas, so that's nice. Let's go ahead and make our way and take a look at the interior. See what we got going on on the inside. Because this is where you spend a lot of time is driving this car is right inside here. All right, so. Um, this particular Atlas, you still don't, you don't have power seats, so just manual seats right there. I do like the print or the way they're stitched up, which is nice. Volkswagen is really good about styling things, and uh, and I like that the way they got that stitched up on these seats. Looks pretty sweet. It's solid too. I mean, listen to when we close the door. Nice solid. You sit up nice and high off the ground. You got plenty of areas to throw things at, like right up here. So that's good. Big screen, like I said earlier. And you know, what I like about Volkswagen is they keep it simple and clean. And as you can see, the fit and finish looks great inside the car. Still got your buttons and controls there and over here. USB right down there. 12 volt outlet. There's something else right there. Nope, that's just a little 
block off, but one USB there, 12 volt there, electronic park brake, big cup holders, what's down in our center console, and look how big that is, that's nice. I mentioned that on a previous video we did when we first got it in, when I took a test drive of Brandon, that both of us guys could put our arm right here on this armrest and be pretty comfortable driving down the road, which was good. Not too bad there. So I'm assuming when you move up in trim level on the Atlas, that's when you'll get the four USB ports in it, because right now I'm only seeing one, and I'm sure there's one in the back somewhere. Um, this one looks like the battery is actually dead right now. Yeah, it is. But, you know, that happens when they sit here in the showroom for a long time. Let's take a look in the back seats for a second. See what we got going on back there. Because you may be wondering, you know, what kind of leg room do you have in the back of the Atlas? And as you can see here, pretty good. I mean, look at all that space right there. I mean, I'm six foot one, and there's... There's a good two and a half, three inches right there. And I did, if you didn't notice earlier, I pulled the seat back a little bit for the front. And there's still a ton of leg room in the back for myself. Rear air, that's a good thing to have. And then we got a car seat in here so you can kind of see how that sits in there. So plenty of room for the kids. Up top, you got your handles. Lighting. And then that sunroof rolls all the way back more handles, all that good stuff. Let's take a look at the price tag here. For the, uh, it's a little tough to see here, but 2018 Atlas V6 Launch Edition, it starts at 34875 So, pretty decent price there for a really big SUV by Volkswagen. And definitely something different that not everybody else is driving on the road. And I think that's kind of what makes this car unique in its own way, is that you got something different than everybody else's right, Let's take a look at the uh, other Atlas that we have sitting outside out here, which pretty much looks very similar to the white one in the showroom. I mean, almost identical. Same wheels, same color, all that. Of course, we got the Turegs sitting right here next to it. All our SUVs lined up and uh, you know what is it about the Atlas that you might like better than the Turreg? I think that might be the question today. Which one do you like better? Maybe that's a separate video that we'll do today while we're here at the Volkswagen store. Because there's a lot of y'all that probably still do like the Turreg and you're wondering, you know, is Volkswagen going to keep the Turreg around? You know, I mean, do they really need a SUV that's really just a little bit smaller than the Atlas? Or do they kind of wipe out the Turreg and just have the Atlas and the Tiguan? I'm not really sure at this particular moment in time. But, uh, yeah, I think we are going to do a separate video talking about both of these vehicles today. So uh, stay tuned for that. Make sure you subscribe, like, and comment. And uh, yeah, watch the next video coming up with the Atlas versus the Turreg.